اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم تو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی اباؤٹ دا کلاسٹریڈیم ٹیٹینائی اینڈ کلاسٹریڈیم موٹرینم وچ ار ٹو میڈیکلی امپورٹنٹ اسپیشیز اف کلاسٹریڈیم جنرا تو کمنگ ٹوورڈز دی امپورٹنٹ پوائنٹس ریگارڈنگ کلاسٹریڈیم جنرا اینڈ دے ار گرام پازیٹو راڈز اٹ مینز دیٹ آن گران سٹیمنگ دے گیو پرپل کلر دے ار انروبک اینڈ دے ار سپور پامنگ Clostridium genera a poor medically important species which are Clostridium tetanae, Clostridium botulinum, Clostridium perferenges and Clostridium difficile. In this lecture, we will study only about the Clostridium tetanae and Clostridium botulinum. Yes, these two species are medically related in transmission and pathogenesis, so we will discuss them side by side. So, it may be easy to remember. So coming towards the transmission of Clostridium tetanae, the spores of Clostridium tetanae are present in soil which enter the skin through wound or through skin pooping. What is the skin pooping? It is a technique by which drug addicts inject drugs into the skin. In neonates, the Clostridium tetanae enter through the contaminated umbilicus or through the circumcision wound. Now coming towards the epidemiology of Clostridium botulinum, the spores of Clostridium botulinum are found in soil which contaminate food etc. And when this food is scanned or vacuum packed, the spores survive, germinate and produce toxin outside the body. It means that they survive in anaerobic environment. Hence the toxin is pre-pawned and is heat labile. Now coming towards the pathogenesis of diseases caused by Clostridium tetanae, so it produces an exotoxin called tetanus toxin, also called tetanosposmin. It is a protease which is carried retrogradely, i.e. intraexonally to the central nervous system, where it cleaves the protein which is involved in the releasing of inhibitory mediator like glycine or GABA at spinal synapses, and thus cause spastic paralysis. And this tetanus toxin has only one antigenic type. Now coming towards the pathogenesis caused by Clostridium botulinum. So the botulinum toxin is also a protease which is absorbed from gut, enter the blood from the gut and reach the peripheral nerve synapse where it cleaves the protein which is involved in acetylcholine release and thus prevent the release of acetylcholine and causing placid paralysis in contrast to the Clostridium tetanae which cause spastic paralysis. It has 8 antigenic types A, B and E being the most important. They are the most important antigenic types of botulinum toxin. The A botulinum toxin is, is medically important as it is used to remove the pest wrinkles. It is also used in certain osmotic muscle disorders like articolis writer's cream blepropasm coming towards the clinical findings so clostridium tetanae cause tetanus which is characterized by log jaw rhesus sardonicus which is a characteristic grimace exaggerated reflexes opistotonos which is back arching and respiratory muscle Deliver, which is the most common cause of death due to the Clostridium tetanae disease. Coming towards the clinical features of diseases caused by Clostridium botulinum, so it causes descending paralysis, paralysis of cranial nerves, including diplopia, dysphagia, ptosis, and respiratory muscle failure. It causes no power. There are two special clinical forms of disease caused by Clostridium botulinum, wound botulinum and infant botulinum. In wound botulinum, the spores contaminate the wound, germinate in the wound and produce toxin in the wound. While in infant botulinum, the organism grow in the gut and produce toxin in the gut. And the most common cause of infant botulinum is the ingestion of honey containing Clostridium botulinum. And the affected infants need respiratory support, but they usually recover spontaneously. Coming towards the rebuttal diagnosis of Clostridium tetanae, 
so there are no microbiological or serological diagnosis they can be diagnosed through microscopy in which the clostridium tetanii has tennis racket like shape due to the terminal spores which you will see in the next slide inshallah coming towards the laboratory diagnosis of clostridium botanum they are not cultured it can be diagnosed by looking for the botanum toxin in the uneaten food by mouse they can also be diagnosed by looking for the botanum toxin in the patient serum the other diagnostic criteria is by elisa test which detect toxin in by pcr which detect dna encoding the toxin and this and this dna is a part of lysogenic bacteria you can see the opistotonos i e back arching a picture of rhesus sardonicus restrictions of tetanus you can see the picture of infant botanum which is on pyrotry support and in the picture of clostridium tetanii showing terminal spores on culture which look like tennis racket coming towards the treatment of tetanus caused by clostridium tetanii so it can be treated through tetanus antitoxin by giving tetanus antitoxin by giving antibiotic like penicillin and metronidazole to eliminate the bacteria supportive treatment like maintaining airway and giving respiratory support and benzodiazepine to prevent spasm the treatment of clostridium botulinum is to give heptavalent antitoxin which consists of all seven types of antitoxin also it is preferred to the trivalent which consists of only a b and e antigenic antitoxin supportive treatment like respiratory support we can also give bivalent antitoxin which is given to the infant botulism now coming towards the prevention so how to prevent the disease caused by clostridium tetanii so we use tetanus toxide vaccine tetanus toxide vaccine which consists of an activated tetanus toxin and we can also give passive active immunity ie tetanus antitoxin and tetanus toxide vaccine after trauma coming towards the prevention of diseases caused by clostridium botulinum so we can prevent the disease by sterilization of all canned and vacuum foods and by adequate cooking so that's all about today thank you jazakallah